Hi Nick, hi Tom, it's that time of year and I'd like to present you with a photography challenge about Christmas. I'd like to ask you to take a closer look at Christmas. This could mean macro photography or you could look closer at Christmas and try to capture what it means to you. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Hi Rachel, another month, another challenge. A closer look at Christmas, I can certainly do that and what it means to me, well, It'd be hard to tell in a photograph, I think, but uh, I'm always up for a challenge, so we'll give it a go. So, challenge accepted. For every year this Christmas tree brings to us such joy and glee. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring. Bit of macro photography, a close up view of Christmas. Capture what Christmas means to me. That's going to take some doing. But I do like a good challenge, so I definitely accept your challenge. This challenge has been really challenging. <laughs> I really wanted to do something special. I wanted to uh, just make a vlog that really, really explains what Christmas means to me and, uh, and share something with you guys that you can enjoy as well. I mean, uh, I thought and thought and thought about it, but I mean, how do you summarize Christmas in one word? There's just so many things. There's, you know, cutting down the Christmas tree. There's putting it up and decorating it and putting up Christmas lights. There's family gatherings. There's uh, Santa Claus visits. There's church. There's just, there's so much that Christmas means to me and to so many people in so many different ways. So... I think I've concluded that it's impossible. I cannot sum up Christmas in one image. So that didn't stop me from trying. I wanted to show something in an image that I've been thinking about lately. And that's that not only at Christmas time, but every day I think it would be amazing if every place that we visit and every person that we see, we see the beauty in them and bring some beauty there ourselves so that we've left every single place better than it was before and making the world just better one, one by one. And so I thought maybe I could do this in an image, but it wasn't really working out. So I was attempting to go to a location that may not actually be very attractive and just illustrate how we can make something more beautiful just by being there, just by our presence and what we have to offer. And so <laughs> I had this cave and I had this gift and I wanted to put it there and, uh, and see what I could do to kind of make it look like, ooh, you know, there's, there's something here that you just maybe wouldn't see at first glance. I brought with me some special props. <laughs> so inside here I have some presents and Christmas decorations. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting this kind of very rustic uh, 
my voice is echoing. It's very cool down here. This very rustic image. And then I'm gonna add something to it. So I'm at F8, ISO 206 seconds. Let's see what we can do here. I'm heading back in with a little something. But when I put the gift down on the ground, on one of the rocks with the water flowing through it, it just kind of disappeared into the scene and it wasn't working out. Unfortunately, I didn't have a ton of time to go to another spot and get a different package and, and try it all again. So I did end up taking the image with the gift in my hands, but I'm not really sure. It doesn't really like grab me, but I mean, it was still, it was still a good exercise. <laughs> right, so I got the mouth of the cave behind me and then I have myself presenting a gift as if I were coming in there to meet someone and uh, how lovely that somebody had written something and put a heart on it. Um, that actually just adds right there to my message. something planned doesn't mean it's gonna work. This is one of those times for me. I'm just, I'm still really glad that we're doing this challenge because what has happened is it's got me thinking about what Christmas really means. And I thought I would go take a visit downtown to this really great place called the Living Rock where I think there are people who get it who are really doing what I said I think is important, making other people's lives better. So I'm here at the Living Rock with Cindy. Hi. So it's in this humble building downtown and it's just a bunch of people who help youth. Youth in need, they come and they have a food bank and they have breakfast and dinner every day. They have employment, help and opportunities and they help the youth to not only get their basic needs met but to find a life worth living so uh, maybe if someone is interested in photography they're able to develop that passion or somebody who's interested in in something else they they find things that they can live for you know if you come here just to have breakfast you see how just providing this space and in our Oasis coffee house, you can see what the impact it, it has on youth who might be street involved or, or coming from shelter, or it just could be a, be a youth stopping in for breakfast on his way to school. And it can be very sad you know, for um, our youth who may not have, um, well, first of all, you know, may be in shelter, may not, you know, have their own home, or maybe not with their families, or maybe not, you know, don't really have a big social circle. Um, so it's not, it's not easy. It's uh, really not easy. I think it's probably one of the most difficult times of the year. And they keep coming back because they are connected because of the great um, team we have. That was a great part of my day, but also not something <laughs> for photography for this vlog. I give up. So I completely give up and say that 
Christmas can't be summarized in one image, but there's something that I learned through all of this and that is that I was overthinking it. It's, uh, it's really just simple. The best thing about Christmas is what's simple. Just love, peace, you know, you guys, my new friends, my uh, family, all of that, it's just, it's a simple thing. It can't be summed up, but it's simple. So the image that I wanna share with you is one that I took last year. And it's one of my favorite images. And uh, I just wanna share with you how I took it. It is just a simple ornament on fake snow with a black background. And this could be used as a stock photo. In fact, I have used it as a stock photo and I do sell it often. So um, this is the background, kind of an unorthodox one, but I love it. It's fleece, so it's black and it absorbs light rather than reflects it in wrinkles and, and that kind of thing. So it's really great, comes in its own little sack that looks like a sleeping bag and, uh, and it's really quite large. So I just pull it out and uh, I can hang it on a photography stand or I can just drape it on something and uh, in this case I, I hung it up. And then the other thing that I had was fake snow. It was pretty, just little bits of plastic. <laughs> It was pretty easy uh, to use and uh, an ornament. Now the one that I use is black, this one is red, but you know it's kind of a black and white image anyway, so uh, you can use anything. So the trick to making this image work was that you want to have your background farther away from the image with no light falling on it and then have your foreground, which was the snow and the ornament, lit up either from in front or from beside. Uh, you can even backlight it if you want, but have it kind of in front of the background far enough that none of the light is falling on the background. And what happens is the camera exposes for the foreground and the background just basically falls away. So. glad that we did this Tom and Nick it really gave me a chance to think and to uh, it's really it's enhanced my day and my Christmas and I hope that all of yours will be fantastic this year Tom Nick I can't wait to see your videos guys make sure that you check them out and, uh, and if you haven't you like subscribe subscribe to their their channels as well and anyway see you soon bye guys